My word. Look at that handsome bloke. OSA secret agent Jack Valiant. Super spy for the British Empire. The Queen's greatest asset. Except for one other. Agent Silent Death. My name is Jessica Valiant. During the war, I helped my husband perform his duties behind the scenes. Inseparable, both on the job and off until... 1946. Jack bought me time to escape. If I'd had a choice, it would have been the other way around. Funny that. After the love of my life was taken away from me, the world submitted to the Nazis, and my faith in humanity crumbled. I fled to Brazil, choosing a life in anonymity. It was a simpler life. A steady flow of fine alcohol and charming strangers served as my medication. Kept me afloat, without purpose or direction. Then one day, I received a mysterious folder with the image of a crimson bulldog imprinted on it. Inside were the briefs for three assassination targets. Torture expert, Uber Commander Hahn Stiglitz, Hollywood Nazi collaborator Chuck Lorenz, and the infamous General Gerhard Dunkel. What I read shook me to the core. The files provided evidence implicating these men as responsible for the betrayal, torture, and murder of my husband. These men had to die, and so I departed for California in the American territories. First on the list was Uber Commander Hans, the man who tortured Jack. I'd spent the past years in a delightful blur of drinking and debauchery, but killing Nazis was like riding a bike. A dozen slit throats later, I found myself inside the Gestapo office in Sacramento, California. From there, I had to find my way to Uber Commander Hans's office at the top floor. Ich bin in meinem Büro und bereite wichtige Dokumente für General Dunkel vor. Achten Sie auf verdächtige terroristische Aktivitäten. Und bringt mir bitte eine Tasse Tee und ein Schinkenbrötchen. Heil Hitler. Uber Commander Hans was my first hit in years. Felt like a stiff drink to take the edge off, but I had to stay focused. Crawling through those vents, I did regret one thing. Not diving into the hotel minibar the night before.
Yeah. Schön abgeben, klar. Ist da jetzt. From drunken midnight beach walks in Sao Paulo to skulking through Nazi Tossa Central, I wondered if I was up to par after all these years. Männer, seid heute besonders wachsam. Ich hatte eine ziemlich schlimme Vorahnung. Man könnte sagen, sie kam mir im Traum. Und wo sind mein Tee und mein Schinkenbrüchen? Herr Dr. Wall! Years of boozing have left a mark. And so, another Nazi bellend had been sent to hell. Good riddance, Uber Commander Hans. I could feel the tug of war inside, a craving to escape this dreadful reality. But I couldn't. Not until each and every one of these Nazis was six feet under. Until my Jack was avenged. Next up, the man who betrayed Jack. Actor, filmmaker, and Nazi collaborator Chuck Lorenz. 
once an undercover agent for the OSA, now a stooge for the Reich. Like so many American traitors, that snake was generously rewarded for collaborating with the Nazis and had been promoted to head producer of American propaganda. Lorenz was now a powerful man with powerful friends. While this powerful man was about to have a rendezvous with Agent Silent Death. So this was Paragon Studios, mouthpiece for Nazi America, doling out rubbish propaganda to the masses. Spotted the glass-domed main offices draped in Nazi banners beyond the sound stages. That's where my target would be. It's Charles Lorenz. I have told you countless times, no one is allowed to disturb me when I'm in the zone. Acting requires perfect concentration, and you are ruining the preparations of my upcoming immaculate performance with your constant idiotic interruptions, flimsy requests, and complaints. Thank you. Paragon Studios' office building looked exactly like the place a wanker like Lorenz would fester. Everyone, the upcoming shoot for the new movie Blitzbench Returns, Vengeance for the Aryan Race, has a guard role available due to sudden illness. The part involves no talking, and there will be free not forced. Now, since I'm sure there will be many volunteers, please form an orderly line outside my office later today at 7 p.m.
You have a drinking problem, a bartender in Sao Paulo once said. Bloody Nazis are marching on your streets and you're telling me I have a problem? The world had gone mental, and I just needed a drink. Maybe drinking wasn't the solution, but it sure soothed the pain. Look, what else was there? Anyway, I was a big girl, and I decided when I could drink. Bloody hell, Jessica. Stop obsessing about your drinking. I'd planned on spending the end of my days in Brazil. I was at the point where it seemed my years of strife were finally over. Jack was fading away into the distant past, obscured by the spirits medicating my soul. I should have realized that's not how life works. And now it came down to this. General Dunkel, the man who killed my Jack. The coward had long ago decided to hide away on the moon. General Dunkel would be my last hit. Then I could go back to my old life and never return. Jack always said he was over the moon whenever something good happened. Well, my love, how I wish you were here. His gamma was the loathsome General Dunkel's domain a military research complex. 
It was just a matter of time before someone discovered the bodies in the transport, so I had to move fast. Herr Schmidt won't be making it to the meeting, boys. It was time for more extreme measures. Maybe he was right. Maybe I was finally in over my head. Maybe Jack would never be avenged. Well, at least I'd die trying. Luft und Fels. 
As I stood over Jack's bane, a sense of emptiness overcame me. The deed was done, and yet the hole in my heart would not fully heal. I watched a million stars sparkling in the void. Earth looked so serene from up above. How charming a con man was distance. And so I returned to my old life in Brazil, determined to end my days in oblivion. Wasn't a bad way to go, all things considered. But something had changed. That empty feeling remained, and no liquor could fill its void. Then one day, another letter came, signed by the enigmatic Crimson Bulldog. The American Revolution was in full force, and the Resistance needed me. I understood in that moment what the emptiness meant. This wasn't just about avenging Jack. No. This was bigger than me. So I traveled back to America to fight the Nazis once again. Maybe I was heading towards certain death. But Agent Silent Death would not go quietly into the night. <laughs> 